Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Taddy and I'm an astrologer and I make videos on astrology, self-growth, self-care, self-love. So if that interests you, please continue watching, please subscribe. And in this video, I'll be talking about inner child healing and showing yourself love. And I just wanted to share a bit of my personal experience and hopefully it helps you throughout your process and just share some tips that I think can really benefit you. I've this is a more casual sit down video, so go grab some tea, go grab some coffee. And to be honest, I've been in therapy for years. It's been about a year or so that I've been out of therapy, but what therapy really taught me was to really comfort my inner child, to really learn and understand where my problems in life stemmed from, right? And I want to say that I've gone through a lot in my life that was traumatic, that was very difficult to process, uh, one being my father's death and quite a few deaths in my family, and to learn where my need for love externally comes from because I was constantly seeking relationships to make me feel better, to make myself feel loved, and there's nothing wrong with wanting a relationship. We all need other people. We all crave love. We all are worthy of love, right? But I felt like I wasn't deserving of love. I felt like I didn't deserve to receive love. And what really helped me through this was to really talk to my inner child, to really sit down with myself and comfort myself and learn how to take care of myself in the best possible way to show myself love. And there's a few ways to do this. And I want to just share what really, really helped me hopefully it helps you but the first thing being is to get a photo of yourself and really talk to yourself in a very kind way like whenever you feel like you're being too critical on yourself you're being too hard on yourself and that's a reflex for you or you're working on your criticality is to have a picture of yourself as a kid and bring this around with you in your wallet put it in your space I have mine like in my space just on my cabinets but what's really important with this is to see who you were as a kid and be and tell yourself like it's okay you're gonna be okay you're gonna be all right you are safe right and whenever you feel like you are feeling sad or you're feeling angry or you're feeling like things are too hard look at yourself through this picture or look at yourself in the mirror and comfort yourself like tell yourself reassuring words tell yourself that you are loved no matter what you are worthy just as you are affirmations are going to really really help in this process and it's just going to be so important to do for yourself to comfort yourself in this way so if affirmations are not your love language i think for first figuring out what your love language is is going to be so important so Let's say your love language is acts of service. Maybe when you're really, really sad, what you need to do is to go out and buy yourself a cup of coffee or to take yourself out on a walk or to just do something that shows you that you are loved, that you love yourself. Maybe it's cleaning your space. Maybe it's doing something responsible for yourself and being like, no, I love myself. I'm going to clean my space because I deserve to work and be in a clean space and this is just more motivation for me to clean my space by the way but doing something like that and really learning your love language so that you can better comfort yourself is so so important maybe your love language is quality time and maybe that's taking yourself out on dates or t spending alone time with yourself maybe it's meditation um to improve that quality time with yourself maybe it's journaling so that you can you know reaffirm those those reassuring thoughts you have and really affirming the positive traits you have right and this is so 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 important to do for yourself it does take time though it does take a lot of time and when we think of inner child healing i think it's important to really consider our triggers as a kid and to really understand where those feelings come from right like if you're feeling hurt 
or sad by something that happened right now, usually everything stems from childhood in some regard. And I'm not a psychologist at all, but I think it's important to know where things come from. Where, where is that line coming from? Okay, so I'm going to use myself as an example, but I have been attracting unavailable people. I've been attracting people who maybe are just avoiding me. They're very avoidant, right? So this is coming from my past. This is something I've realized and I've learned from and I recognize because my dad wasn't around as a kid because he passed away and there's nothing I can do to control it but it's something that you kind of have to accept and to understand okay we all have very difficult situations that we had to deal with and we had to all go through and some are very hard you have to validate yourself you have to validate like hey it's okay to feel sad it's okay to feel hurt it's okay to feel in pain it's okay to cry it's okay to cry it out to put yourself out there to just know that it's hard right and oftentimes inner child healing is to sit with our feelings and validate why we are crying why are we sad why are we angry like imagine yourself picture yourself as a kid crying in front of you what would you do what would you do to this like what would you do for yourself when you see this happening for yourself right and i think this is so 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 important to consider for ourselves right maybe we would reassure ourselves maybe we would like put ourselves in blankets if, if physical touch is something you show in terms of love in terms of what you want to receive maybe wrapping yourself in physical like blankets or putting on a warm because like fuzzy sweater or getting yourself some tea to comfort yourself maybe that's something you do for yourself and when we go through understanding where our inner child is crying and not being seen or heard that's where we have to reshape what why are certain things popping up what what is the pattern in our lives that it keeps popping up and oftentimes it's something that maybe we don't want to acknowledge or sit with maybe we were afraid people were going to abandon us because people weren't around Maybe we were afraid of being unsafe. Maybe we're afraid of getting close to other people because you had a bad experience growing up. Maybe you're afraid of being vulnerable because of this, right? And I think when you're able to picture your inner child, like your childhood self in front of you going through this, that's when things start to click. Maybe this happened in childhood and it's a memory that was really hard for you. Maybe it was very difficult for you to hug your parents. Maybe it was very difficult for you to just tell someone you love them because it was hard for you to hear that from other people, right? So really think about where that pain actually stems from because if you feel like you're going through a breakup right now or something that was really difficult right now like you lost a job or certain things like those are valid and fair experiences but did something in your childhood happen that was similar in that regard did something in childhood happen that had a similar pattern to what you're currently experiencing so this is something to keep in mind to consider and really think of ways to comfort that inner child in you. Maybe it's doing something fun for yourself. Maybe it's creating art. Maybe it's doing a fun activity. Maybe it's joining a sports team. Maybe it's doing something to tell yourself, hey, you're good no matter what, right? And this is a process to go through. This is such a long process to go through, but just know that you are safe as you are. And oftentimes we need space away from what we've experienced as a kid. Maybe we need time on our own to process and to reflect and to just journal about this too. So my next tip is to just write yourself a letter. And this could be a letter to your childhood self 
and what you would tell them right now what would you tell them to comfort them what would what do they need to hear what do they need to hear to be their best selves what do they need to hear to just feel happier what do they need to hear so that they know that they're supported no matter what right write this letter to yourself and read it out loud to yourself look your look at yourself in the mirror and read this out loud to yourself and i know that sounds weird but this can really really help you process and accept more of yourself and love yourself in a different way and i think this is such a beautiful thing to do it could be a whole ritual you could light candles you can spend an evening just getting to know yourself in a deeper level in this way and just know that you know sometimes we don't deserve what we go through we don't deserve like the harsh reality of pain that we could go through but it's understanding that we can't change the past we can only accept things right now we can only accept what's happened and if you're able to try and see the pattern and really understand okay how can i change things for myself how can i comfort that inner child how can i how can I be okay with how things are right now? How can I find more peace with everything, right? And this, it stems first from doing inner child work and showing yourself more love through this process. So I really, really hope this video helped. Let me know in the comments what you thought of it. I want to do another part of it because I think I can go a lot more in depth. But I hope this video was helpful. Let me know. And again, if you just want to save space to make new friends and to do new moon and full moon rituals, I have a Patreon community. You can check out the link down below. And if you just want to have a birth chart reading done by me, you can check out the link for that down below as well. And yeah, I have all my links if you want to check those out. But thank you so much for watching. Just know that you are worthy just as you are. You are loved just as you are. Show yourself some love today. Take yourself out on a date, go journal, go do something that's good for you, that you know that you have to do, that you know that will make you feel better, that is healthy. So do that for yourself and I'm sending you so much love. Just know that the universe has your back. Peace and love. Take care. Bye.